Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the best moments in MMA history. Today, we'll be taking a look at some of the most amazing one-punch knockouts in MMA history. Let's get started. Our first one-punch knockout comes from the highly anticipated rematch between Kumaru Usman and Jorge Masvidal. In their first fight, Usman won by using his wrestling skills to dominate Masvidal. But in the rematch, Masvidal came in confident, expecting to win by keeping the fight standing. However, it was Usman who shocked the world by landing a beautiful one-punch knockout that sent Masvidal to the canvas. Masvidal's corner had poured water on his hair between rounds, leading to one of the most stunning knockout photos in all of combat sports. Our next one-punch knockout features the king of walk-off knockouts, Mark Hunt. In his fight against Roy Nelson, Nelson was favored to win due to his high-level ground game, sharp boxing technique, and seemingly unbreakable chin. But Hunt was underrated and walked Nelson down from the opening bell. In the second round, Hunt landed a devastating right uppercut that sent Nelson crashing to the canvas face first. It was a stunning one-punch knockout that demonstrated Hunt's punching power and his ability to finish fights in spectacular fashion. Next up, we have one of the most legendary one-punch knockouts in MMA history, courtesy of Conor McGregor. In the lead-up to his fight against longtime featherweight champion Jose Aldo, McGregor pulled no punches when it came to hyping up the fight. He threw every insult imaginable at Aldo, even snatching the belt from him during the press conference. This led to a brawl on stage, and tensions were high heading into the fight. McGregor had gotten into Aldo's head, and he knew that the Brazilian would come charging forward as soon as the fight started, and that's exactly what happened. McGregor landed a perfectly timed left hook that ended the fight only 13 seconds into the first round. It was a stunning one-punch knockout that cemented McGregor's status as one of the top fighters in the sport. Moving on to our next one-punch knockout, we have Anderson Silva's incredible finish of Forrest Griffin. At the time of the fight, Silva was the middleweight champion and had been testing the waters at light heavyweight. Griffin had just lost the light heavyweight title to Rashad Evans and was looking for a win to help him make his case for another shot at the title. Unfortunately for Griffin, he was outclassed from the start of the fight. Silva controlled the action, landing at will, while Griffin could barely land anything meaningful. About three minutes into the contest, Silva secured one of the most impressive one-punch finishes in the history of all combat sports. He weaved and slipped through a barrage of punches from a charging Griffin, then sent him to the canvas with a perfectly timed jab. The referee rightly called the fight before Silva could follow up with ground and pound. What makes this knockout special is how Griffin fell to the canvas and the defeated look on his face that forced the stoppage. Our next knockout features the fearsome Cosmo Alexander's brutal finish of the then derailed hype train that was Sage Northcutt. This fight was a clear mismatch due to all the hype that was surrounding Sage Northcutt and his career. Alexander proved that there are levels to the game of MMA and landed a powerful punch in the first minute of the first round that shattered half of Northcutt's face. The punch caused eight fractures in Northcutt's skull, and the fighter was immediately taken to hospital. It was a shocking and devastating knockout that demonstrated the power and danger of MMA striking. Sage, as a true fighter, declared that he will come back, which he did, and is set to have his next fight against Ahmed Muchaba on May 5, 2023. Next up, we have the human highlight reel that is Francis Ngannou. He's well known for dishing out some of the harshest and most devastating KOs in UFC's heavyweight history. 
In his fight against Alistair Overeem, Nganu showed why he is one of the most feared strikers in all of MMA. After a few missed punches, he landed a devastating left hook that hit Overeem right on the temple, causing him to fall to the mat unconscious. The knockout was so brutal that it was awarded Knockout of the Year by many media outlets. Moving on, we have one of the most iconic knockouts in MMA history, Dan Henderson's legendary finish of Michael Bisping at UFC 100. The build-up to the fight was intense, with both fighters displaying a visible animosity towards each other. Bisping had been trash-talking Henderson for months, and the veteran fighter was itching to silence his opponent in the octagon. The fight was closely contested, with both fighters landing significant strikes in the first round. However, in the second round, Henderson unleashed his right hand, landing a brutal right hook that connected with Bisping's chin, knocking him out cold. As Bisping lay on the canvas, Henderson delivered another shot just for good measure, cementing his dominance in the fight. The knockout was so memorable that it was awarded Knockout of the Year honors and is still replayed in highlight reels to this day. The knockout solidified Henderson's reputation as one of the most feared fighters in MMA and showcased the importance of precise striking and technique in the sport. Our next knockout comes from a one championship fight between Aung Lang Sang and Ken Hazegawa. The fight was a relentless back and forth battle with both fighters giving it their all. In the final round, Aung Lang Sang uncorked an unstoppable right uppercut that caught Hazegawa just as he stumbled forward. The impact was enough to put Hazegawa out cold and secure Aung Lang Sang the KO of the Year award for 2018. While not a punch knockout per se, we think it is too good not to have it included on this list. This knockout is a stunning example of a fighter snatching victory from the jaws of defeat. In a fight against the Korean zombie, Yair Rodriguez was down on the scorecards with just seconds left in the fifth and final round. But he didn't give up. Instead, he challenged his opponent to stand and trade with him. The Korean zombie charged forward, and Rodriguez ducked down and landed a devastating reverse elbow that left his opponent face down on the canvas with just one second left on the fight clock. It was a stunning knockout and a fight that will go down in MMA history. And finally, we have a quick and brutal knockout from one of the most feared strikers in the UFC, Anthony Johnson. Johnson is known for his explosive power and lightning-fast strikes that can end a fight in an instant. His opponent, Glover Texaira, is a veteran of the sport and a dangerous striker in his own right with a wealth of experience in the octagon. But on this night, it was Anthony Johnson who shone brightest. Just 11 seconds into the first round, Johnson landed a massive right uppercut that connected with Texaira's jaw, sending him crashing to the canvas. It was a stunning one-punch knockout that left the crowd in awe and demonstrated to Johnson's incredible punching power and his ability to finish fights in the blink of an eye. Johnson's knockout of Texaira was a reminder of just how dangerous he is as a fighter and why he's considered one of the most feared strikers in the UFC. His striking skills are truly next level and opponents know that one mistake could lead to a devastating knockout. And there you have it, some of the most incredible one-punch knockouts in MMA history. Do subscribe to our channel for more such MMA content, and you have a safe one.